sorry my camera's off today we're gonna i have low vision but today we're going to talk about hurricane safety if your town is evacuated for hurricanes and you're like ah none's never hit i don't need to leave i've been here for 20 40 50 years and none ever hit well if they're evacuating your town that's because a hurricane's going to hit and it's going to be bad now if you're in your home the best things to have if you live in a hurricane area have a inflatable raft that pumps up have you might think this is crazy but i know some people who have done it it is kind of crazy i i prefer the inflatable rafts but they can puncture and pop so these people you guys are thinking outside the box a canoe yes a canoe because god fit it starts flooding real bad in your home you're gonna need something to float on because your home won't always stay safe but I prefer a raft because you can keep them in your attic you can pump them up with a hand pump but always make sure they're blown up so if a hurricane comes they have a way to get out now if you have a skinny attic window that's okay you should always have pry bars and pickaxes and sledgehammers in your attic if you live in a hurricane area so if you have to break through your roof you can I know people have had to break through their roofs in homes before during hurricanes so this way you can get out because what do you usually do when the water keeps going up in your home you keep going up to the top floor well, not always that's a good idea because you can trap yourself in an attic if your attic has no windows or if the roof is really strong you won't be able to get out of your attic even if it with all them tools that's why it's best to never keep going up 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 to your attic it's better to have another escape route like a canoe or something like that so this way you're safe and you have a boat but I personally prefer a inflatable raft. A lot of you can guarantee that you won't hit nothing. That's my best opinion. It don't take up much room. It's easy to store. It's easy to have. And make sure you have flashlights. Make sure you keep your phone charged. And also get a hand crank cell phone charger. You might say hand crank cell phone charger. Yes. There's a hand crank cell phone charger you can get that you can crank to charge your cell phone. So this way, if it's no sunlight, if it's at dark and you need to charge your phone to communicate with people or to get the latest lever updates from the cell towers, you can by charging your phone that way. And also go to an interior room. During a hurricane, never stay in the exterior room. Make sure your windows are boarded up. Don't use max and tape. Use real plywood to board your windows up. And also make sure your doors are sealed. Make sure you have sandbags outside your home. And never go outside of your safety room, your interior room, unless if water starts coming in. Then you have to leave it and go elsewhere and find another shelter to, Because your home ain't safe because it's filling up with water. Water can make a home collapse. Never stay in a home that's filling up with water. It can be deadly. It's better to evacuate before a hurricane comes so you don't get stuck in these predicaments when they say a hurricane's coming to evacuate it means to evacuate and leave and stay safe a home can be replaced human lives cannot be replaced life is precious don't stay in your home to try and save your home you can always get another home you can't replace yourself or your family see you all in the next cool video don't forget to subscribe